I uh, thought I'd take this opportunity to take a break. I've been busy. And talk about these swarm boxes. I'm going to be hanging and baiting them. Thought I'd also talk about my experiences with bees. I did a live stream not long ago and talked about building the top bar swarm boxes and top bar beehives and answered quite a few questions from people. One of the questions that came up is how long have I been a beekeeper? Truth is, I've never had bees before. All of this is purely experimental. Um, I spent a couple of years while I was building the cabin looking into what it took to keep and raise bees, mainly because if I can get six hives out on my property, I qualify for an ag exemption that cuts my property taxes down quite a bit. Um, the other ways of qualifying for it are having cattle and pit or pigs and that you keep and goats and sheep and thing like that, things like that. But bees to me seem the, the least involved out here. I wouldn't have to be here all the time for them like I would for other animals. So it seemed like a good fit. I've watched probably a thousand hours worth of online courses and lectures and people talking about bees and people keeping bees. So I've got a feel for what it takes. I've also read a lot of the research papers that are out there in order to determine where some of this information came from. If you want a piece of advice, um, and I'll put a link to it down below, you might want to go look up Michael Bush. Um, there's a lot of good lectures by him on beekeeping. There's um, quite a few other lectures out there. I can't think of any right off the top of my head. One of my goals in this is to do a natural beekeeping. I don't intend to treat I don't want to buy a box of bees to stick in a hive. I'd rather um, catch a swarm of local feral bees, sometimes referred to as wild, but technically bees aren't native to North America, so they're really not wild. They are feral bees, but they've acclimated to the location. And since my nearest neighbor's, you know, over a mile and a half away, I don't have anybody that I know of keeping bees out here. So these would all be ones that are surviving on their own. By doing that, it's, it's called catching survivor stock. Um, they tend to have a lot less issues with Varroa and AFB and all the other problems that commercial bees have. So that's my actual intent. I'm bringing you guys along on the journey to see how it goes and to show you what I'm doing. I actually did a multi-part episode on building the swarm boxes and the part that wasn't covered in that is this bracket and this bracket's a new addition in that it's basically an L bracket and I cut a piece of two by four at the same angle as the top bar box screwed it in here and then screwed the box into it from the inside and screwed it down to the L put a two inch hole up here at the top this way I can hang it in a tree I just finished setting up the two new hives the two old hives have wasps in them, so I'm probably going to leave them open for this week. And when I come back next week, go ahead and close them up, put the tops on them, and rebate them. If you want any pointers or advice, all of my knowledge comes from books and watching videos. I'm more than happy to point you to other videos that may help. Um, they can definitely get you on the track if you want to do this as well. These are really simple. If you look around on YouTube, and I'll, I'll dig it up and put the link down below. There was a college group back in the 70s that went to one of the last Skep beekeepers in Germany and documented everything he did. Skep beekeeping predates all of this. We're talking 1400s era. It's really worth watching, um, a great series, and you learn a lot about how it was done long before you could pick up the phone call and order a package of bees to be delivered. I did some digging into packaged bees to see when they came about. It seems that right around 1870, 1890 is when they started shipping bees. 
So those have been around for a while. But as I said, I'm trying to do this on the cheap. I don't want to buy bees. I want free bees. Free bees! Um, I've got four of these boxes that are ready to go. So we're going to get these baited up and into trees around the property. That should do it. I think I've covered everything. So let's get this first swarm box hung up in the tree. Brought a step stool out here. Which is up close to the tree. Right. Oh. So, go ahead and drill a pilot hole. Now that I got a pilot hole in the tree. I'll put a lag bolt in. I brought an impact wrench. And that'll do. Ow. So, now all I have to do Pick the swarm box up and hang it. Move these dead tree out of the way. Do the same that I did on the um, hives. Take, put two drips of lemongrass oil on a Q-tip. We're going to roll that Q-tip on the entry hole. I'm going to toss that Q-tip inside. That one's baited and ready. Now all we have to do is wait for the bees to find it and move in. I'd like to thank you for taking the time to watch these, this video. If you've watched it this far, then obviously you liked it, so click that thumb up like button. If you're not a subscriber, watch a few more of my videos, and if you like them, click that subscribe button. And as always, if you would share my videos out to your friends, it's greatly appreciated.